Organizational charts are going to be something that typically have a longer period of time because when we're considering the organizational charts, we're typically thinking of the upper management of the organization term of stock and bonds issued. When we think about the current file, we're thinking about those types of things that are going to happen in the current time period. So the, the current audit information that we're doing off, often happening on a yearly basis. So these are things that we might group basically on a yearly basis in terms of the current file that we are working with. So we have the adjusting entries. We've got the audit plan and programs for that current audit of the current year, working trial balance for the current audit current year. We have the current financial statements and auditors reports for the current year, the minutes for the current time period and the working papers. So as we go through the audit, then most of the, what we'll do is we'll take the current year from the last year. <laughs> we'll, we'll look at how everything was gonna be formatted We'll start with the current year for this year and anytime we need to dip into those type of items that are going to be long term uh, type of contracts or something like that, then we'll jump over to the permanent file where those things will be housed. Audit documentation format will typically include something like and, and different type of firms may have different formats of their working papers. Also note that working papers don't need to be the most formal type of working paper in order to be something that will be useful within audit evidence. But what we do want in the working papers and the more standardized the working papers are, are some of this, this type of, of necessary information that will be included in uh, this format. But, but as we go through this format, don't get the impression that uh, every type of working paper is going to be exactly the same or have it the exact same type of format. We want to have this key information on it. And this is a good format to have uh, the audit documentation and working papers in. So we often have the heading, which would include